Podcasters! Welcome to Pep Live. My name is Nico, your host for today's episode. And I'm very excited dahil may magka-comeback sa ating Pep Live today. Please welcome Under Parallel Sky star and producer Jonel Salvador and Richard Juan. Yay! Hello, hello! Hello! Ayan, ginabahan ako bigla. Kanina hindi. Bakit? <laughs> Live na tayo eh. I know, right? Okay, game. So, kamusta naman kayo guys? Welcome to Pep Live. Thanks for having us. Yeah, We're there. good. It's been a while, five years since we had you here. 2019 pa yung last. Yun yung the heiress ba? The heiress. Wait, 2019 is five years ago na? Oo, oh, oh, 2024 na. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ang bilis tong panahon. Ang bilis, ba? Diba? True. Mga babies lang tayo before, ngayon, tatagda na natin. Eh, may. Ah, babies pa rin tayo. <laughs> babies pa rin tayo. <laughs> Ayan, so, let's start the interview with ice uh, breaker questions. Ang tinatawag namin, ako yun, hindi ako yun. First statement, mahilig matulog sa set. Hindi ako yan. Uh, dati ako yan, dati. Ah, Pero ako, ngayon, ngayon, hindi na pwede. Ay, bakit bawal na? No, well, I mean, as a producer, I can't be sleeping on the set, ah, diba? Ah, true. Pero as an artista, as in kahit downtime, hindi kayo natutulog. Dati, natutulog ako, tapos na-realize ko, ang hirap kong gisingin. So, minsan nahihirapan silang gisingin ako. So, ngayon, hindi na ako natutulog para dire-diretso kami. Laging may pagkain sa set. Ako yan. <laughs> True, bawal magutaw. Yes. <laughs> ako baliktad. Ako hindi. Kasi like when I'm working, I never eat for some reason. What? Hindi ko nagugutom. Ever. Hindi ka nagugutom? Oo. As in pag when I'm working. Parang wow. like after shooting na, that's when I, oh my god, gutom na gutom na ako. Kain na ako. Parang ganun. Hindi ko kaya yan. Yeah. Mahirap. Dapat kumakain ka. <laughs> Kaya nga, Bigyan mo sa Lela. <laughs> Share naman. Okay, next. Laging bangka kapag nagchichikahan sa taping. What's bangka? I mean, <laughs> laging, may, <laughs> laging may kwento. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, hindi ako yun. Kasi ako yung nakikinig. Ako na lang yung nakakasagap ng mga chismes, pero hindi lumalabas sa akin. Same. Ako na lang kinakwentuhan, tapos parang di ko na, minsan di ko na-absorb, nakakalimutan ko pa. Oo, oh, <laughs> ganun na. Actually, ganun din ako. Nalilimutan yung mga chika about yung mga chismis, whatever. Oh, parang, bakit ba ako nagtrabaho dito? Oo nga, no? Okay, next. Uh, sino ang mas generous? Sino ang mas generous? Or, ikaw, ah, uh, mas very generous in general. Ah, uh, depende to what level. I mean, depende. sa food siguro, ano. Oh, oh. <laughs> ako, I'm generous din sa food. Oo. Oh, oh. May lig ako mang libre ng food. Mm-hmm. Uh, generous in general, I think, yeah. yeah. I think, I think we're generous. Parang masayang people. tropa tong dalawa. Mali <laughs> libre ng pagka. <laughs> and last, uh, madalas makalimot ng ano, lines. Makalimot ng lines? lines. I think hindi ako yon. Magaling ako mag-memorize, pero under pressure, dun lang ako nakalimot ng lines. Yeah, usually naman pag under pressure naman, that's when you True. forget the lines. Mm-hmm. I remember um, when I was doing a lot of hosting dati, that was, I remember na mga, there, were, there were a couple of lines sa uh, mga ano, parang like, when all the spotlight's on you and you can't say the right lines, you get lalo ka na, ano, eh, diba? lalo ka na rattle eh, lalo ka hindi mo masabi, kaya you have to calm down and then, Doon mo mano. Pero so, introvert yeah. problems din. Mm-hmm. Pero kaya natin yan. Parang ako nag-host ako ngayon. Hindi ko yata introvert eh. Uy, grabe. Ako lang to. Anyway. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Everybody. Okay. Dahil dyan, tapos na ang ating icebreaker questions. But punta na tayo sa main topic natin ng Under okay. Parallel Skies. Yay. So, for Janela, uh, can you tell us about the movie? Or parang mas bagay kay Richard to as oh, the producer. Uh, parang dapat. Oo oh, nga. Ah. Uh, Ano, wow, um, aba, ang daming kong pwede sabihin. Anong bang gusto mo malaman? Yung wala masyadong spoiler. Para syempre, panoorin nila. Uh, as about the story, ano yung kwento? Yes, basically? Yung kwento? Well, I mean, the, the line that we always use, it's basically a story about a Thai bachelor that moved to, I don't want to say moved, went to Hong Kong to look for um, his mother. Tapos dun sa Hong Kong, that's when he met a hotel receptionist where they had a interesting relationship na back and forth, back and forth, and then eventually they somehow fell in love. And then, 
yun lang muna. Yun lang muna. Yeah. The short okay. version of the story, basically ganun. And the hotel receptionist is Janela. Ah, hindi ako. I know. Sorry. Wala, <laughs> 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 sorry, hindi ako na yung pambiran na wala siya. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> actually, may roll din siya sa mga. Oh, oh may Okay, ang taray. Pero dalawang eksena lang naman. Just for fun. <laughs> Pero si Janela, your character, what can you tell us about uh, Irish? It's actually Iris. Iris. Yes. So Iris is an OFW. Then she nekta trabaho sa Hong Kong nga as a hotel receptionist. And ano siya? I would say she's a very ordinary citizen with big dreams. And she also has her own her own issues from back home. Natin na try niya ding irresolve. She just really tries to get by every day. So I think maraming OFW na mukha relate sa mga struggles ni Iris. And yeah, eventually, magiging guest nga niya si Perrin, which is played by Wim. And ayun na, doon na magsa-start yung relationship nila. In fairness, doon sa mga nakita kong clips, ha, yung isa tinuruan mo pa ng bad words si... <laughs> <laughs> yun yung bonding nila, eh. yun yung bonding nila. Eh. <laughs> Marami siya natutunan sa akin. Oh my gosh, so bukod <laughs> sa PI, may, meron pang iba? Medyo. <laughs> Medyo. <laughs> Natutunan niya lahat. <laughs> safe to safe. <laughs> yung best bonding moment nila siguro. <laughs> Pero ikaw, bang may natutunan kang bad word na Thai? Actually, may tinuro siya sa akin, pero nakalimutan ko na. Yeah, same medyo, problem. <laughs> medyo my memory is not giving. <laughs> pero yung ano, yung natanda mo yung ano, yung masarap sa Thai? Oh, masarap is aloy mak. Aloy mak. Aloy mak. Aloy mak. Yeah. Sa mga pepsters, I'm sure bakit alam nila, ay, alam, I'm sure alam nila bakit alam ni Iris yung masarap. Ito pa yun, nasa trailer din yun eh. Oh. Yes. Ayan. So, paano arin yung guys? Di ba nagutas decision? So, next question. <laughs> so, for Richard, syempre, this is your first uh, time producing. Paano, bakit ka nagpunta doon sa path na yun? Um, oh my God, sobrang habang kwento to. But uh, I think it, this is a, this is something that I knew I was eventually gonna get into naman talaga. Pero hindi ko lang na-expect na ganang kabilis or ganang kaaga. Um, it all happened because fast track lang dahil sa pandemic. Where during the pandemic, um, parang nawala yung part of my life, a big part of my life, which is traveling. A lot of my content online um, before was about traveling to different places, meeting new people, doing press junkets, mga ganun. Eh, lahat ngayon bigla nawala eh. So parang there's something missing in my life. Um, that I decided to kind of find, do something. And I'm very lucky there, was oppor- there were opportunities. Um, there were some clients who wanted to do online events and then I have people that were able to um, help us with that. So that's how the whole company started. And you know, in, in the next two, three years, we were able to have different projects, different clients. We did a documentary, we did lifestyle shows. So parang ano ba yung next step para sa company? Ganun yung inisip namin um, in, the, in the team. So we eventually decided to explore Film, film, yeah, filmmaking, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much how everything started. It's really more of like we wanted to try new things. Kasi nang gawa na namin sobrang daming lifestyle shows, to to mm. documentaries. Ano ba next? Parang film yun next na kita namin. Ato na nga, ito na nasa under parallel skies na tayo. And for Janela naman, paano mo na, uh, how did you landed the role? Parang did you audition? Or oh, were you handpicked? Nah, handpicked, bahasa Sigurid, You can share, naman, from what okay, you well, know. Okay, from na, my, na. Oh, sorry, natap ko yung mic. From my perspective, parang, paano nga ba nag-start? Sinabihan ako the the my handlers told me about a pro, a potential international project na ipipitch daw sa akin. And at first, I didn't know it was gonna be with Win. Sabi lang ipipitch mo ng story, ganyan ganyan. So I said, yeah, oh, game, of course. So nung napakinggan ko yung story, they pitched, they actually pitched two stories, and they were both equally super nice. Mm. So isang isa sa mga stories na yun yung under parallel skies. And sabi ko, parang pinapapili nila ako alin yung story na gusto ko. Honestly, nagandahan ako sa parehong story. So if I had to do any of them, happy ako. So yeah, that's how it started. And then they told me I was gonna work with Win. Um, I got even more excited, syempre, kasi kilala talaga si Win dito sa Philippines. Um, because of his series nung yes. pandemic, yeah. So I did research then about Win after that, kasi yun lang yung alam ko about him nung time na yun eh. So, na-excite ako for the project. Pero kayo ba, before the project, magkakilala na rin kayo? Mm, not formally, like, yeah. introduced. Pero I knew of him. 
Mm-mm. We would see each other then sa events. Yeah. You mean us, right? Yeah, yeah us. Oh, us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bakal mo sa bakal sa sinasabi mo si, sa, 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 si Winner ano? Eh. But yeah, yeah, we we knew each other from from events. Yeah. I mean, of course, Shemtre, we've both been in industry for for some time. Na then, ten years na then both tayo na parang mm-hmm. so we you know we see each other here and there. We have common friends. Kaya yeah, mga ganun. But I mean, on my end, the perspective of as a producer, um, honestly, when we started the idea of doing this project, we were thinking of who are the options out there. Talaga, you know, we laid out a couple of names, and then um, Janelle is definitely one of the topics that we had. Talaga, um, for various reasons, um, one crucial reason was, of course, her experience when it comes to acting. Um, very versatile, and um, of course, lalo na kasi. Our our film is a bit heavy, so you know mm. parts of it is heavy, and um, we've heard a lot of good stuff from different people. Na parang like Kaya ni Janela to carry these types of of scenes. So one, definitely wow. one of the reasons for that. And syempre, you know, she also fresh um, fresh out of Darna, then you know, mm. uh, played such a crucial role in in Darna. And I think during that time, you know, we felt like that's her natural next step also, because in the company and the projects that we like to do, we like to work with people who are on the verge of something great. And we want to take them higher and go on. So that's how we we thought of Janela. And of course, we also shared this with Win's team. We we showed them a couple of options that we believe for um, our, our our top. Actually, we I think we presented three or four, three to them, and they also agreed that Janela would be um, a good pair then for this film. So yeah, that's how that's how everything started. Bongga, in fairness, ang haba pala na naganaganap na excel. <laughs> ano? Ano kano ba to? Twenty. Early 2023, payata to. Ganang kahabat na yung kano. Oh, was it 2022? No, 2023, 2023. 2023. Yeah, 2023. Early 2023. And after a year, malapad na nandis sa sinihan this April. Yeah. Yeah. Kada bago kaya dun. You mentioned uh, you were drawn to the story of Iris. So, mm-hmm. bakit was there a specific reason for it? Uh, her character. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's more of kasi mahilig ako ng I like to step out of my comfort zone then with the roles that I take. And Iris is someone na hindi ko pa na portray dati. Never pa ako nagkaroon ng role na OFW um, na sa ibang bansa. Never pa ako nagkaroon ng movie na sinunod sa ibang bansa. So it's something that I've never experienced before. So na challenge din ako. Ayan, speaking of challenge, bilang na-mention nga ni Richard na medyo maraming heavy scenes, meron bang specific scene na pwede mong i-share na medyo, ay, hirap to. <laughs> um, madami. <laughs> medyo madami. Madami kasing pinagdadaanan si Iris sa movie. Um, emotionally. Siguro ano, siguro can share na lang which part of the film or which portion para abangan nila yan na lang para oh. para walang spoiler na. Pero napanood niyo na ba yung buong movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. sa Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. Kumusta yung ano reactions? Ala ko na excited ako. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're actually to be honest me as a producer, um we we were thinking about do we really want to have Hong Kong as our premiere? The reason for that is syempre Hong Kong market, Hong Kong audience have a different perspective on on a different taste and uh we're very lucky, we're very happy that there were so many positive response from from the audience um you know we were showing some clips also online kasi nang video din kami asking for their opinions and dami nang sabi na parang like this is something that they didn't expect um they were very happy with the output they were happy with the story they um they they think that the two leads have really you know, great chemistry so you know, were very positive very happy about it na parang kung happy sa Hong Kong i'm sure happy din sa Philippines especially because this film was really made for southeast asian th- um more than anything else for Janela um uh, na may pressure kabag naramdaman since you mentioned na ala uh, dami mong first day for this project mm-hmm. you know, first international flying out of the country mga ganyang experience na pressure kaba oh sure yeah there is a bit of pressure actually every time naman gagawa ng movie as an actor parang laging may pressure kasi medyo nakaka pressure talaga ang mga cinematic releases especially nowadays mm-hmm. ano kasi parang hindi naman nakita thrive pa ang cinema ulit Medyo may pressure, but mas nananayig yung excitement ko for the film, cause I really believe in the material. Ganda ng storya, galang ni Derek Sigrid, maganda yung location namin, and I think Win and I really gave our best, so I believe. 
Eto, uh, curious question, since you mentioned that you researched Ken Kevin before meeting him, what was your first impression of him? Did you see him? In Thailand, no? Thailand, the yun, yun, ano, oh, workshop. Before we did workshop in Thailand, I did research. Siguro, mukha siyang ano, akala ko Korean siya. Mukha siyang baby, mm, baby na ano. <laughs> for, for the other young person. Wow, baby, <laughs> sabi niya. <laughs> Tapos mukha siyang tahimik. Feeling ko, nung time na yun, parang, oh, he looks quiet. Magkakasundo kaya kami kasi quiet din ako. So, Pero yeah. hindi pala. Okay naman kami, nagkasundo kami eventually. <laughs> kasi, totoo pala, medyo quiet din siya. Ah, okay. Um, Baka dahil feeling ko, English, chari. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's conscious pa sa English niya. Uh-huh. Kaya hindi siya masyadong chumichika. Pero mag- he speaks, siya mag- but he speaks well. well. Yeah. Yeah. Medyo conscious nga lang. Mm-mm. Hello, for the suggest offer. For, for the ambag. <laughs> <laughs> Last few questions. Uh, ano yung gusto niyang ma-feel ng viewers after watching the film? Or lesson na gusto niyang matutunan nila? Mm. Yep, ayoko mag-spoil. Oh, oh. Um, I, I guess I guess for me on my end as a producer, of course, um, we went through the whole process of the Sigrid, from writing to, to you know we did recce first, tapos ng write ng script to details and all that. Um, I think the biggest takeaway that um, you know to avoid spoilers, you no, know, it's it's sometimes in life there are just a lot of unexpected people that you meet, and sometimes these people that you meet out of nowhere are the ones that leave the biggest impact in your life. So I think that's. What we want to let people feel, na parang like every people that you meet along the way, you know, in life in general, sometimes you just don't expect this sudden spark. You know, let it be relationships between two, na parang maging magjoar or even just friendship. So, there are so many things that can happen, and ultimately, you know, just because, I mean, of course, Iris and Baron, they're from two different countries, two different worlds. That's why um, the fact that they met, they fell in love. Is something that's unexpected, so that's why I guess to a certain extent, you know, expect the unexpected also. So, we're going to Hong Kong so we can be together. I put it in, madam. Malay mo, because Hong Kong is a melting pot of culture, so maybe you want to be another culture. Put it in. Tara na, we're just going to be together. Anyway, what do you want? Anyway, so we're last guy, Richard. Uh, so after Under Parallel Skies, we have another one. Next plans. Shabi ang aga pa para oh. pagchikaan to pero may na may na iisip ka na ba? Um, we're working on a couple of scripts actually already. Of course, you know, Janelle also mentioned kanina. Um, there were two stories that were pitched. So the mm-hmm. other one is something that I personally really really like also. Kaya we're also exploring that. Um, but we also have a sci-fi-ish na story that's in advanced development where we have a couple of investors in already. Um, hopefully, um, it's something that we could do in a cross country also, because that's what we really want to do as a 20th Squared Studios. Um, we want to create stories that are not just for the Philippines, not just for the region, ideally even for the world. Just like what um, Warner said, Sirico, during our press conference, I mean, been like you know, he wants to be able to um, to have he, want, he wants to be able to see a film from the Philippines um, win an Oscar. So that's something that, of course, the fantasy, the dream that we have, Ooh. and I'm sure Janella also feels that way. Now she wants to be part of a film that, you know, you know, wins Philippines and Oscar or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Kaya natin yan. Meron talent. Pero yeah, Speaking of that, uh, ano yung general? Ano ba yung follow up? Go yung on. general, uh, parang thoughts niyo about the the audience being more parang demanding sa kung ano yung gusto nilang mapanood or parang mas nag-iisip na ata sila ngayon. Mm. Ano yung yung feeling niyo about it? Ako, I actually like that the viewers nowadays are smarter. But it could be, I think it's pushing us, our industry here in the Philippines, to do better. Na hindi pwede yung basta basta ka maglalabas ng film na pwede na yan, mm-hmm. ma appreciate na nila yan. Parang it's ma- it's challenging us and pushing us to like not settle for. Amen. Um, what's the right term? Not settle for mediocrity. Mediocrity. And to really strive for greatness, I think we have the talent. Eh. I mm. think meron kulang lang tayo minsan sa resources, sa budget, funding, yung mga ganong bagay. Pero the talent is there. Yeah, echo to what another yeah. copy paste natin kung sa gusto <laughs> And but honestly, like uh, uh, me as a producer, that's why I decide to venture into film because I feel like I have something to contribute 
to I mean although you know I'm, I'm, I'm this is my first film but I believe you know we're able to create things that we did not expect like um, people did not expect us to be at the Asian Film Awards they don't expect us to be doing a premiere in Hong Kong they don't expect us to get win for this project and I think at the end of the day um, it's all about trying also um, I hope you know we were able to inspire the next generation of filmmakers that hey guide you were young we dare to try we dare to bet on ourselves you know we're betting on ourselves here of course and and at the end of the day if this does well it's great for everyone and I think that this is something that we really want to imprint to the Philippine audience also that you know this isn't a project na hindi lang you know for for the Fili for for us you know for for the producers but it's also for the Philippines because I feel like this would take a big step on a on a bigger scale lalo na to the region you know we have win here we're, we're we're very very lucky to have him our 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 premiere in Hong Kong grabe na nagulat kami na punong puno yung dao oh, and, and all that the ba Exactly. We're 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 anyway, we're 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 taking Philippine cinema to another level alongside with Win and I'm also I'm I mean I'm forever forever grateful for my two leads also for Janelle and for Win for believing in the vision that we have to, in order to make this project happen. And you know, at the same time we have Warner Brothers on board then. But I'm like it first um, Filipino romance film that uh, distributed by Warners, that's also you know a huge privilege. So ultimately I think I, I don't even know what your question is anymore, I'm just rambling here. <laughs> but, 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 but but honestly, like you know, this whole this whole experience has been crazy. Delagana, there are so many things that aligned. You know, stars just aligned, and um, there's a Chinese term for it that we call tinsi teleyanwo, which just means um, you know everything from from the sky and also from the from from the um, people and also in the land, everything is aligned properly for this project to happen. And also, shine sa viewers to. Invest on the films, the Filipino films. Manood po kayo para yeah, magkaroon so, ng susunod na proyekto, di ba? Correct. It's yes. a project that's for, ano, for Philippine cinema to take things to the next level. True. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. need your support. Always. Manood kayo, guys, ng Under Paradise, guys. Sampung beses. <laughs> At punto, ito na ang next part ng ating ano, interview, ang Pep Challenge. Social media rain, magka flash na kami ng photos on screen. Tapos, magbibigay na kayo ng konting chika about it. Ay! 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 May paano! Ay! Bonga ng pinili. Ay, pinili ko talaga daw ito si Summer. Ikaw pala, may makana nito. <laughs> pinili ko ito kasi Summer. True. Okay, so chichika lang about uh -oh, the photo. Yes. So this was actually... I'm not sure if Jude was already one year old here or wala pang one year old. So basically, that's like my postpartum body, and I felt it was one of the first times I felt good about myself again, because parang hindi ko na recognize yung sarili ko after giving birth, and so when I took this photo, I was feeling myself again, and I was embracing the curves and all. True. Ete yung parang a few weeks before ka mag comeback. Yes. Yeah. That year. Ayan. Pero, Janela, since women, Women's Month din ngayon, parang how do you feel about uh, women being, uh, having that pressure to always look good? May ganun, di ba? I think, in this day and age, iba-iba na talaga yung types of beauty. We should stop, like, um, forcing women or pressuring women to look a certain way just to be called beautiful, just to feel beautiful. I think, Maraming different types of beauty. You can be morena and beautiful. You can be white and beautiful. You can be, you can be skinny. You could be curvy. You could be curly. You could be whatever. So dami ng, you can be called beautiful in your own way. So I think confidence lang talaga, and we should stop pressuring women to be skinny because we all have different body types. Sorry, so I'm passionate ko about this because ako kasi, as a teen, I was very skinny, and then. My body just grew into this. Like I'm, I'm more of curvy right now. Para sa big. Hindi ano kasi ako. Hindi ako yung sobrang ano. Medyo ganon yung katawan ko. So there are some there. Well, when I entered the industry, I was a bit naive pa. So medyo na nagpa pressure ako dun sa mga tao na they always wanted me to be skinny, look a certain way. Parang konting magkalaman lang ako ng konte, they'd be like, ay ang pangit, magpapayat ka na ganyan, ganyan. But honestly, 
in some of those moments na I was a bit more malaman and all, I feel beautiful. And I think that's what's important. If you feel oh. beautiful, then it shows. That's it. Diba? Own it. Own it. Okay, next. Ayan na yung next na. Ayan na. Ayan tayo eh. Bumi uh, ka pa dyan. <laughs> Well, um, this naman, siguro ano to, I, I mean, as you guys can see there, I was 23. This was in Bahay ni Kuya. And I think this was really, being inside Bahay ni Kuya was, was one hell of an experience. It was something that uh, I will never ever forget in my life because it was the time where I feel like, it, it's ano eh, and I knew that this was going to be the step towards uh, a new career in a certain yeah. extent a career that I never expected myself to get into. And and I don't know if you guys know, but like growing up, I was I was kind of like the shy kid. I was never supposed to be in showbiz. I hated music. I hated art, that kind of stuff. I used to be that kind of guy. But uh, it really completely changed my life. Um, and I will always forever, forever grateful um, to be yeah, to be to be a housemate in Bayani Kuya. And I was lucky, of course, after a couple of years, Naka naging host din ako for for PBB mm-hmm. for two seasons, and you know it's it's been it's been a it's been a crazy journey. I mean, this post that I recently just posted is really a reflect is is ano is a ten year anniversary post mm-hmm. that I, I really did not expect. I mean, if you tell this kid right here that yo Richard, in ten years you're gonna be producing a cross country film um, with one of the hottest um, artists from the Philippines and also from Thailand and from the region. He would be like, "Ha ha, no way, bye." But I'm gonna like, and then yeah, yet here we are, and and you know, I'm getting, I mean, looking back, fla- I have so many flashbacks now of the experience of Bahay. Di naman, di naman. But like, just looking back, talaga, a lot of good memories were in the house. But most importantly, I I think this was really the jump off for me. Na parang like, ah, pwede to maging career ko talaga. Who are your batchmates, ba? My batchmates, ane. Ang dami nyo, di ba? Oh, I seven three seven toy. So parang my adult housemates were Tommy and Miho were the big, mm. the big, ah, ano, the, the most popular ones ko during that time. Tapos kabatch ko din sila, ano? Si Barbie Imperial, tama kaya pero teen sila. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next. Ten years, damn. Ay, Bo- yun. <laughs> yun. Si no John. Yan ang recent. <laughs> And yeah, and that was in LA recently when I went to the MIFF for Maliari, my my previous horror film with Papa P. And yeah, and it was my first time then attending the MIFF. I think it was also the first, the first MIFF. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I was really happy to be there. And yeah, and styled by Perry Tabora. Yeah. <laughs> Pero I love your fashion transition, then. No? Parang yung yung nakita natin from your Mm-mm. teens so ngayon medyo paano mo na discover na ganito na yung style mo I think na realize ko din kasi I'm more of a I really value comfort kung hindi ako comfy sa suot ko hindi ko kaya yung palaging tiis ganda so mm. I told Perry na maybe we can think of outfits that are comfortable but they still slay True, so like this one. ayan yung mga ganyan yung peg ko ngayon pero Uh, Imagine mo yung sarili mo attending fashion weeks. Grabe kasi yung ano <laughs> eh. I heard the sacrifices you would make for fashion week are mm. insane. So I don't think... Like what? Like they really... They have to change the car. Yeah, the just schedule. for fashion. Sometimes it's really cold outside but you have to wear like whatever outfit. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I don't think I, I don't think it's for me but yeah. I would love to experience it maybe once. Abangan natin si Janela, malay mo. Milan or Paris. Next. <laughs> Ayan, sige. Maganda nung mga pinapakita ko sa'yo. Ano yan? <laughs> oh my. Si oh, Richard ito. sa'yo are my foreign uh, na inagit bulaga. Ito talaga yung, ano, ito, this is, this is, this is the very first time I've ever been on TV in my whole life as, um, as a, uh, when, with the spotlight on me. This was the first time that I experienced what it's called um, trending, apparently. Mm-hmm. Because during that time, I didn't know what the hell trending was. But apparently, after this, um, labas ko sa Ibulaga, papas ko sa backstage, everybody was like, oh my god, Richard, congrats, you're trending on Twitter. I was like, ano yung trending? <laughs> so, may mga ganun moments. But basically, this is my first time talaga na on TV on Ibulaga. Again, this is also one of the ones where I always say, I'm grateful for this. This is the one that literally, literally the moment that changed my life completely. 
I still remember three days, four days before go going on this show, I called up my dad and called up my mom. Uh, mom, dad, uh, there's this opportunity to go on TV, mag, uh, Ipulaga. They were like, because my parents grew up here in the Philippines. So I said, oh my God, Ipulaga, that's cool. I used to watch it when I was growing up, blah, blah. And then sinabi, sinabi nila, I told them, I'm going to be on it. They were like, wait, what, what, why? Anong bang meron sa ano? Pero my dad was very supportive. He was like, you know what? Try mo lang. Who knows what's going to happen? So this was before PBB? This was before PBB. The year before PBB. I was still in college. I was still in UP, actually. Ah, nito. Yeah. Oh. 2014. Parang magkakilala na tayo nito, eh. SMU siguro. Hindi ba? Shucks, di ko masyado sure. Baka Matagal hindi. Matagal na. Oo. Oh. Okay, next. Ayan. Okay. From the movie. Ayan. Yan yung... Actually, that's in the trailer. Yung scene na yan. Parang sabi ko sa trailer, Ah, sabi niya sa akin, parang, money can't buy happiness. Tapos I was like, are you enjoying your Tom Young? Tapos sabi niya, <laughs> yes. Tapos sabi ko, then I bought your happiness! <laughs> Yun yung line ko dyan. Wow, ulit na. Panunod ko ng trailer. <laughs> Ayan. Pero naniniwala ka ba na money can't buy happiness? I believe money can buy certain happiness. Oh, really? True. <laughs> Naniniwala talaga ako. Kasi oh, sa if you can yun. buy things that make you happy, then money can buy happiness. Uh oh. But not your entire happiness. Yeah. Parts of parts. Mm -hmm. Actually, no shinut na yung exam ng yan. Win couldn't stop laughing. Cause ah, the, yeah, there was one line there na yung entrance ko ata jan. Abang na lang sa movie. Parang tawa siya na tawa sa <laughs> sa pinapagawa sa ni Derek. He couldn't stop laughing. Ayun. Ayun ang isa natin sa mga abangan sa na eksena sa Under Parallels, guys. Okay, next. Ah, uh, wow. This one, well, yeah, this this is this was I think this is one of the more difficult places to shoot kasi nasa public kami mm -hmm. And there were so many people um, taking photos. Um syempre here kasi may crucial scene. This is one of the most crucial scenes in the film, by the way, guys. So, um, we I remember Derek really specifically told us producers that um, requested for one day or parang like parang to get or, or longer time than usual to get this scene down because it's so important for the film. And syempre, this is the iconic scene, of course, of Hong Kong. Then I'm referring to the photo at top. So this is the iconic uh, part of Hong Kong. Then so parang um, it's where the most iconic parang ito yung Hong Kong. Like if you look at this, you know this is Hong Kong. And then of course, about but as as a producer, this is me checking what's happening. But I'm feeling like I'm not sure if I'm going to post it here. I'm not sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> In fairness, there's only one picture on the wall. It's like, it's like a beautiful scene. Let's put it Oh, oh. But that's it. Um, definitely, yeah. This, 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 this is also a very important part of my life. Because I'm oh, different now. It's not the tweet thumbs that I've been doing. Where's the location? Para we can go to Hong Kong. Sa taas, that's Avenue of Stars. And then the one in Baba is uh, it's one one hotel actually. Um, that's where we shot all of our hotel scenes. So mga pinoy na nasa Hong Kong ngayon, alam niyo kasi ako ay pupunta. Yes, actually, uh, dami na nagano ng pupunta sa uh -huh. yung hotel to take photos on those scenes that were shown on the trailer. Nati gina gawa yeah. lang natin sa kay drama no, tas gina gawin oh. na natin sa inyo. Yan din gusto namin talaga <laughs> objective na mas producers. We wanted to do that. Okay, next. Ayan. Yes, Miss Jack. Bagum pa uso natin ng bags. Love your dress by Mark. Yeah, by Mark Bumgarner. It was actually sobra. Ako pumili niyang dress niya. Ang ganda talaga. Um, it was an experience attending this event. And knowing that Derek and I were the only Filipinas in the room, so brang nakaka excited, nakaka. I was so nervous. Jan sa red carpet na yan. Hindi ko alam kung halata. Pero so brang kina ako bahan ako jan. Bongga yung confidence ni Mama. Bugs. Pero hindi sabi si Richard na nakablack dapat na. Kaya nga hindi ko hindi ko na inform eh na dapat tanggalin ko sa na yung jacket ko para black na bahad. Oh. Okay, next. Well, this was my, I know, my first ever teleserie. This was Love Thy Woman with Kim Chu and Sian Lim during that time. And but yeah, it was my first ever teleserie, and this was right before pandemic, actually. 
this is again very moment uh, a very important part of my life because this was the project that I thought na on cam in terms of on cam this would be my I guess what's trying to say breakthrough na talaga sa 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 ano, as, a, as, a, as an actor eh pero pandemic happened, happened. Oh, oh. pandemic happened so they had to cut my sh cut my story because I remember I was already they were they were they were trying to pair me up also with Kim already during that time I was the love interest of Kim and uh, I remember I already received the script that says parang something about like um, I'm not even sure I'm supposed to, I mean I'm allowed to share this but like basically um, I had the script saying that I'm going to confess already to Kim mm -hmm. parang ganun levels but when the pandemic happened, they had to cut short my story because the last thing that I taped, I remember very vividly, was supposedly, you know, if it's in a book, it's going to the next chapter. Na. Mm -hmm. uh, I think for them it was easier to just cut off the story and, you know, and they, change all yeah. that up. So, so, yeah, but again, you know, it also made me realize that maybe this is part of God's plan for me, Divine's plan for me, that I'm supposed to do something else behind the camera. So, yeah. Okay, next. Yeah. Yeah. What? This was last year when Jude turned three years old. Grabe yung ano last minute planning ko din sa party na yan. <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang ano um, stressful pala as a mom magplan ng mga birthday. Ngayon ko lang siya na realize na grabe yung effort ng mga moms. So guys, say thank you to your moms <laughs> for like plan when they plan your birthdays and all of that. Grabe. Um, but it was fun because I saw that Jude had so much fun. True. Uh, naisip ko sa fairy kasi may siya sa animals. Tapos, bakit ko nga ba naisip sa fairy? Mayroon akong reason eh. May napanood ba siya na... Lion King? Ganun ba? Lion King. Ganun. Hindi eh. Hindi pa nga siya nakakanood ng ano, full movies. Uh, kasi yung attention span niya, hindi pa masyadong uh, ano. But I made sure to get a bubble show. Kasi sobrang hilig niya sa bubbles. Ah, yan ba yung mga parang yung yes, full body na bubble yeah. na ano? <laughs> I never yung experienced mga, that actually. Yung mga ninong yung nag-enjoy nag dun sa bubble show. Oh my! <laughs> Pero ang fun lang nung, ang rewarding nung feeling pag nakikita mo yung anak mo na nag-enjoy dun sa... Mm-mm. Well, as a mama ko dun sa sinabi ko yun. Ako nga, pag Mother. sa aso ko, pag nakikita aso mo, enjoy na enjoy. Paano pag anak pa, no? Yeah. So, Pero in fairness, ang bilis lumaki ni Jude, parang dati baby lang siya. Pero nala naalala ko lang, for the sharing na naman ako, merong time na you spoke against bashers ni Jude, mm -mm. di ba? Pero yeah. until now ba, na-experience mo yun with your son? Wala na. I Buti think, naman. dapat, <laughs> oh, lang, matakot oh. sila. Hindi <laughs> sure. kasi, uh, binabash siya noon kasi when I posted photos of him, parang, Binabash siya sa appearance niya. That's very low of, of grown ass men bashing a baby's appearance. True. So talagang I had to kinailangan ko talagang patulan right, to put them right. in place. But Ilang, nawala na maglabas ng pangil ng mga moms. Yeah, rar. Rar. Lumabas na si Valentina noon pa lang. <laughs> Kaya pala sa fairy yung theme, yung ano. Yes. Rar. <laughs> For the ano, ang bag. <laughs> okay, next. Ay, 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 ay ano yan. Ay. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh man. Yes. Wow. 2005. That was you? Yeah. Oh my god. Ayan. Walang sound yan, no? Walang sound. Okay. May sound siya dapat. Yeah. Ang kinakanta ko dyan, wag na wag mong sasabihin ni Kichi Nadal. Growing up, I was the biggest fan of Kitchi Nadal. As in, I, I, my, I had my mom buy me her cassette tape. It's polit ulit ko siyang piniplay sa player. Tapos kinakanta ko talaga yung mga songs niya. I even attended one of her concerts. So, ayan, kinakanta ko yung song niya dyan. Balay nga natin ulit. Paano yeah. ba daw? Paano ba daw? Oh, Patingin nga. <laughs> Saan yung mic natin? Balay ka niya. PF muna. Ang cute. Oh, Alam mo, really? natutuwa ako doon sa cassette. Kasi very millennial yun. For, <laughs> para sa mga Gen Z na hindi nakakaalam. Yeah, cassette naabutan tape. ko yon yung cassette tapes. Ano yan? Ay! Ay. <laughs> Sabi... Apa na pinamutan na dito? Bunu <laughs> sa bunuta kita dyan. At dahil dyan, thank you so much for sharing the stories behind this post. Siyempre, hindi natin tatapusin ito na hindi kayo nag invite ng Under Parallels, guys. Ang camera ay nandito. And also your social media accounts. Sino ba muna? You can start. Uh, you can start. Ako na lang. 
Ayan, um, first of all, thank you guys for spending time with us right now. We hope you enjoyed our interview and our challenges. And sana supportahan nyo yung film namin. It's coming out very, very soon. It's called Under Parallel Skies, directed by Direct Sigrid Bernardo, produced by 28 Squared Studios. And of course, kasama ko dito si Win Meadow Win. I hope you guys get inspired by the film. Sana makita namin kayo sa cinemas on April 17. And of course, I hope you guys support local cinema. And, sorry, sisingit ko lang. Please stream Head Tone. Yes. My newest single, Stream Now. And, ano ba? That's from the music video actually. So, hindi pa lumalabas as of today, music video. Panoorin nyo guys, Head Tone music video. I co-directed it. Oh! And stream sa Spotify and yes, other please. streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. And the concert. <laughs> yes, and I have a concert this coming April 19, and I hope to see you guys there. It's going to be at the New Frontier Theater, Janela Reimagined. And yeah, I would really love to see all your faces there, because this is my first big concert. So yeah. And of course, Richard. Um, so guys, our, our premiere night will be happening, of course, in April, very, very soon. Um, please watch out for that. More announcement will be coming out on our social media accounts, which is at 28 Squared Studios. Um, of course, you know, thank you guys so much for the support. And like what Janela said earlier, please support Philippine cinema because this is what we're doing. We're trying to bring Philippine cinema out to the region, if not to the world. And of course, you know, uh, please go watch them. On, it's on cinemas only April 17 in the Philippines, May 1, Singapore, May 9, Thailand. And who knows, maybe more territories to come, hopefully, you know, we're, we're working on that, no promises, but Yun, thank you so much guys for um, supporting us, and yeah, Under Parallel Sky is coming out soon. Cross fingers for the US premiere, Oled. Sana! Okay. Ayan, thank you so much, Peps. So, syempre, don't forget to follow our socials, sila din, Richard Wan and Super Janala on Instagram. Ako naman, Mr. Nico Tuazo on Pep Alerts, Pep TV, socials, at nandiyan yan sa baba lahat. Tinamad na akong sabihin. Ang dami eh. <laughs> and this has been Pep Live! Yay! Thank you!